I like to do is show you guys how to find the x-intercepts of an equation. Um, given this polynomial, x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0. Um, the first thing, the way that I like to go and teach this is I like to go and look at whatever a, b, or c is. Whenever we're dealing with polynomials, um, there's a lot of different formulas that we can use. So the main important thing is I want to find out which are the components. So I'm going to say, so we need to determine, if you guys remember the formula for our polynomial is ax squared plus bx plus c. So over here we have a equals 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals negative 12. So now, if I want to find out what are the x-intercepts, I need to find the values for my x. And since I have, um, I have an x squared and a negative x, I can't just use my regular solving. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do factoring. So one of the methods we look at is we say, all right, if you can find your a times c and your b, then find what two numbers are going to multiply to give you your a times c value and add up to give you b. And let me just go and explain that quite a little bit further. So a times c in this problem is going to be negative 1. Uh, a times c is going to be negative. I'm sorry, that's a positive 12. No, it's a negative 12. And then add up to give you negative 1. So you need to look at the factors of negative 12. And what two factors of negative 12 multiply to give you negative 12, but add to give you negative 1. And what you'll notice is you can become negative 4 and 3. Therefore, then we have x minus 4 times x plus 3 equals 0. Now, an important point for this is what you should notice. If you use FOIL techniques, which we've done before, you know, you FOIL this back out, you will get x squared minus x minus 12. So all this is is you just took a trinomial and factored it into two different binomials. Now, to find out what the x value is, if I wanted to solve for this x value, what I'd do is I'd have to divide my x divided by 3 on both sides. And obviously, that would cancel out, and that would still equal 0. So therefore, x minus 4 equals 0. And if I was going to do it the other way, if I was going to solve for this one, I'd have to divide by x minus 4 on both sides. So therefore, x plus 3 <coughs> equals 0. This is also what we call the zero product property. Now, I just solve for x. x equals 4 x equals negative 3. So therefore, to find the x-intercepts um, of the equation, I know that x equals, of the equation, by factoring it, I find out that the graph crosses the x-axis at x equals 4 and x equals negative 3.